Ethan was very quietly playing his own little basketball game. I know what it's called, too. Slam dunk. Slam dunk, yeah. <laughs> and Isabella decided that she wanted to join in and play with him, too. But the way she approached the situation was very aggressive. She becomes very forceful where she physically lashes out. Is she taking turns? Mum's role when this is all happening is of a spectator. Ethan, you need to let her play too. Ethan! Isabel gets mad, then I run away because she's really mean. I lock the door and push it. I hate him because he locks me out of my room. My mommy always gets the key to open it, and the key is a hanger. We're in trouble now. She's found the coat hanger. So help me bend it. Well, I just grab a hanger, and then I sneak up, and then I try to open it, but it's hard. Can you help me bend this? I'm sorry, I can't, I'm afraid. Maybe you could ask Mom. I was thinking, oh, no, I'm not getting involved in this one. Be very careful. When your child comes downstairs and asks you to straighten a coat hanger, you've got to question, what does she want the coat hanger for? But instead of going upstairs and seeing what exactly is happening, she doesn't. I think this little girl's seen someone do this before. Why do you not want to come out of your bedroom? Because my bag's in my Ethan, I'm not. Let's be quiet so he does not know we're here. Is Ethan in there? Finally, Mum came upstairs to check on the children. Ethan, why don't you open your door? Unlock your door, Ethan. By the time Mum decided to intervene... What are you doing in there? Everybody forgot why the door was locked in the first place. Casually laying on the bed. Da -de -da -de -da -da -da. Hey, come on, you guys. Ethan. The kids had some time to play, and then Mum decided it was time for them to come in. Isabella, what are you doing? Inside, right now. Isabella, come on. Now. Will, come on! Ethan, now! Mum talks to the children like she is telling them off all the time. Ethan, no! You know what? You're going to spend the afternoon in your room if you don't get over here. Get inside, take your shoes off, and go wash your hands. Ethan, now! You're a monster. I had noticed that Lisa doesn't have a schedule for the kids, so I was curious what she had planned for them next. What, what do you do with them? They kind of run around, they watch a lot of TV. I think if I sit on this sofa any longer, I'm about to doze off myself. You need to turn it off right now. Go. Finally, Mum turned the TV off, but Ethan, he wasn't in agreement with that plan. <laughs> Ethan, no, no more game. Hey! Oh, my God, that was not nice. Stop it. Ethan, stop it! These kids are really aggressive, and watching Ethan stop punch it. and kick his mum hey, makes don't. me realise how much he tolerates. Stop hitting me. Ethan, stop it. I felt a little bit of helplessness, you know, with Ethan throwing the tantrum because I really didn't know how to handle him. Don't touch me. Stop it. Sit down. Seems to me like Mum's just given up when it comes to dishing out discipline. You feel like you're being defeated. I feel more like it's just that it's them against me sometimes. Do you know why you're in your room? What? Because you were hitting me. You're not supposed to do this Daddy! <laughs> In the middle of Mum struggling with Ethan, Dad came home. Hey, what were you playing? I play that game. What was the game? Terry didn't even bother to ask Lisa what was happening with Ethan. He was up there because he was hitting me. So, 
you guys, when it comes to discipline, are you on the same page or not on the same page? I didn't realize what was going on. We, I guess we didn't communicate very well. Terry, that doesn't matter. What matters is he was hitting me. That's why he was in his room. Hello. With the family meeting behind us, it was time to move on. And the first thing that I wanted to deal with was discipline. So I brought in the naughty stools. This is your naughty Dad. stool. Dad. And I'm going to put it here. So Once I explained what they'd be used for, I could see their little wheels in motion, and I knew they would catch on. It will be is whoever heard you and whoever they did. Well, it will be one of those, most definitely. When Joe brought out the naughty stools, I thought they were really cute. I really wasn't sure how that would work with my kids. Later on, Lisa was getting lunch ready for the kids, but Isabella, she wasn't happy with what Mum was offering. I'm not Mummy, it's not going to do it because you are a big girl and you can do it yourself. Well, this is what I made for lunch for you. Isabella wasn't giving up, so I told Mum, give her a straight warning. If you don't stop this behaviour, you will sit on the naughty stool. Mummy, Okay, she's having a temper tantrum. But she ignored Mum, so it was off to the naughty stool for her. Come on. No tone voice, remember, you're not pleased. She's not listening. You need to stop this behavior, and that is why you are on the naughty stool. <laughs> and in the meantime, Will started to play up, and then she had to follow through with him. Will, I want you to eat at least three pieces of ravioli, and if you do not, you will be sitting on the naughty stool. Here's your ravioli. Ignore it. We're not going there. So at one point, both of them, Isabella and Will, were on the naughty stool. Eye contact. Because you have refused to eat your lunch, you're sitting on the naughty stool. Having both Isabella and Will on the naughty stool at the same time, I got a good crash course in what Joe is trying to teach me. Mommy puts it on the naughty stool. Makes me mad. Leave that there, stay. And now with Isabella. I want an apology from you. Oh, I did right here. Right, She's not going to apologise. She wants to negotiate on the naughty stool. This is non-negotiating. <laughs> Mum finally stepped up with the discipline and she stuck with it and got apologies from both children. I want you to say you're sorry to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was nice to get an apology from Isabella <laughs> where she wasn't screaming. I want you to <laughs> say you're sorry to me. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Before Joe's instruction, I would have just said fine, and I would have given up, given in. I knew that I had to stick with it in order for it to work, and eventually it did. Jojo's going now. I'm feeling a little apprehensive with Joe leaving. Did you hug? Now I'm going to be on my own, trying to remember, you know, what she's taught me. The naughty stools. We know about those. Will. <laughs> Oh! Hey! Okay. Will, come here. Stand up. If you cannot listen to me, you will sit on the naughty stool. All right, good mom. Oh, okay. I just said no more hurting. I don't like this hitting. Well, I almost made it out of the door. Explanation on the stool, mom. You're here because you're hitting. I'm going to leave you to deal with the naughty stool. You seem to be doing a good job there. Make sure we keep that up. Okay. okay. I hope that mum stays motivated while I'm gone. And dad, he's got some work to do, but we'll see how they get on. Take care, see you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.